Hello everyone, this is Sheldon again from uh, Shell Rock Art. Welcome to my channel. And we're on the Sunday Fun Day Crazy Train Ride. And I am, I have my gloves on today right now. And I'm going to be doing a traveling flip kind of funnel pour. I'm going to pour colors in my cup first. And then I'm going to dump it in this cup, this funnel, and kind of go along the canvas on a flood coat. I'm going to fill this cup here. So let me go over my colors with you. Um, first off, I got, um, this is Caribbean Mist Color Art Pigment with Amsterdam blue turquoise. And I also have this Amsterdam uh, permanent violet light. This is permanent red violet Amsterdam, but it also has a little bit of the ginger flower pigment from color art. I'm using the pigments to add a little bit sparkle to it. I have this yellow. This is a bright yellow or cadmium yellow, you wanna call it. But this one um, has a little bit of mango freeze um, color art pigment. Deep gold from Amsterdam. And titanium white, Amsterdam. And I have um, silicone in all the colors except the gold and the white. So let me get started and I'll tell you about what's going on with the rest of the train. So my base coat is blue black, it is a mixture of um, Amsterdam lamp black with Amsterdam um, phalo blue. My pouring medium also is two parts of PVA glue, one part Amsterdam floor, uh, pouring medium and one part water. So that's my pouring medium. So let me make my little snake. Then I'm gonna go with my flipping the cup. Okay, so let me see, I'm gonna go a little, a little bit of design like, like this. Like so, let me put you up here. Make sure I got enough of this down. I could have did this without the tip on it. Maybe I should have poked a hole in the back so the um, paint could easily flow out. All right. At one point I had the base coat down first. I did this and then it seemed like it was just too thick in this little area. But now when I do it, I'm gonna bring the base coat up to it so everything will be nice and smooth when I begin to tilt, okay? So I think this way was, is a better technique. So I'm gonna so, lift cup. Flip that over a little bit, get that up. Let some of those colors move around before I actually lift, uh, lift it. So the train started off in Canada with um, Cy Frost at Joy of Pouring. And then following him was Darren Nixon in Australia at Venom Fluid Art. And then following her, him is um, Christy Conley with Creations by Christy. Then me, then Britta Clayton from Britt Clayton Designs, and she's in Houston, Texas. Christy's in um, Indiana. And then um, following her at the caboose is Lance Travis, who's in North Carolina. 
So please follow along. I'm going to drag it now because some of these colors I've missed are squeezing out as I speak. So let's go. Okay, I'm back. Now I'm going to try one more time. It's always the second time that's the doozy. I can never get to somebody on the first time. So this time I'm going to leave the yellow out and just work with the purples and the blues and a little bit of gold. All right, so let's try that. So I'll get the purple down. Let the blue down. I had a little touch of the base coat in there. Maybe that'll help with the color on the inside. Perhaps, perhaps not. The violet. The white. It's good to make sure that the whole surface is covered also. So I like to go side to side until it's covered up. The permanent red violet. A little bit more of this base coat. Just a little bit. Just a little bit and the gold. All right, so that's my cup being layered. Try it one more time. And I'm just gonna leave the lip off and then just kind of pour a little snake on there. Yeah. That's a lot easier than trying to squeeze through the little hole. I thought it was harder. Learn something new every day. So I got my funnel. Still got some of the old color in there, but that's okay. And I'm not gonna talk about it like I did the last time, cause you already know the lineup. Just gonna dump it in there. Like a flip cup. And then a lift and drag. Do 
need to kind of move this a little bit. No, I'm not going to try. Leave that there. Put my base coat around the edge. I'm still going to torch it before I tilt it all the way. But maybe I'll tilt some of it and then torch it and then tilt it again. But I won't tilt it as much as I did prior to that before. Because I would tilt it a lot. And then it doesn't give me much room to stretch my cells. So you learn as you go. Okay, so that's that. Where's handy and dandy? Oh, there it is. Mr. Handy and Dandy, because he's handy and he's dandy. Whoop, see I pulled some of that under the bottom. Whoop, shouldn't have did that. I didn't even know that was there. So, let me kind of get off the edge. See, as you pull off this edge, you really don't know what's underneath because some of the color ran underneath. And I didn't know that. So let me not do that and torch it first. See where some of these colors are hiding. Like so. cool beans and so while they're growing now I can use handy dandy to kind of get some of this color spread out and add a little bit of flow incidentally uh, when you guys tilt on I mean, a paint with fluid art um, it comes with the territory that you're going to waste some paint. So just keep that in mind. So I think this time I'm going to adjust my composition a little bit by tilting this way and back this way. But I don't want my cells to get wonky like they did before. So I'm just going to leave it like this. I'm going to give it a bit of a spin. How about that? So if, if you're not a good at tilting, then let the force take it. Let the force be with you. Spin slow. All right. There's some movement there. So let me kind of one of the most important things to remember in doing this as well is that your consistency of your colors match the consistency of your base paint. If it doesn't, it moves faster than the base paint and then you end up with a mess in your hands. So my middle is moving faster than the base coat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take handy dandy, just kind of smooth out and pull off the edges. And I'm just going to have to let it dry that way. I don't want to move it many more but I've had it dry when it was thick like this. It actually turned out fine. Okay, so I'll get you down for a closer look in a minute. Okay, everybody, here's a close up. 
this is what I mean by the cells keeping their shape. And I didn't want to disturb any further. Some of the sparkle is from the pigments. It's still in the old, um, it's still in the base coat. But again, thank you for watching. And we're so thankful for um, Mr. Handy Dandy Spatula to help spread some of this out. And why do I call it Handy Dandy? Because again, I say that it is handy and it's dandy. So drink up people. And for now, um, stay tuned and go to Brett Clayton's channel at Brett Clayton Designs. But for now, have a great day and happy pouring. Bye-bye.